we are at our urban harmony project the design of the bathroom was really really interesting every square centimeter of this space been thought through and considered and designed intentionally we had the opportunity to change the layout. So we've reconfigured the space to fit the homeowner's needs in a much better way. We were able to fit in a double sink vanity with a lot of storage, and we actually managed to do that working around the existing window location without moving that architectural element. And the window actually, in a position where it is right now, provides beautiful distributed diffused natural light into the bathroom. One major change that we wanted to incorporate into this bathroom is introducing a bathtub. The original layout of this bath did not include a bathtub. When we started redesigning the bathroom, we had an opportunity to change that. Another change that we wanted to make is we wanted to have a little bit more of a private shower area. We were able to tuck the shower away from the main view and that turned out to be a very functional solution. We wanted to ensure a curbless shower design and we couldn't. There was not enough space to ensure a proper slope. So another design element was introduced. This is a platform on which we positioned the tub and the shower. Elevating it allowed us to introduce a step light, define the zones, and most importantly, have the required slope so we can use the linear drain in a carbless shower. Let me talk about beautiful marble backdrop behind the bathtub. That marble was an existing element design point of view we decided that that element is very pretty it's very interesting and removing it would be a waste so our decision was to keep it and design everything around it we ended up using two different types of tile both of them were chosen to complement the existing marble one with a little calmer texture on the bottom of the bathrooms. At around chair rail height, we introduced a new tile. The new tile had a very distinct different texture, but in the same undertone. So you can see how tone on tone on tone works in this bathroom, all in grays, with variation on texture, play on textures, slight play on patterns, gives us this result that you're seeing right here. Looking at this bathroom, you can see very modern detailing. You can see very clean lines and you can see a lot of gray, but somehow it appears soft, it appears warm and it appears inviting. Many times clients ask us, will modern feel too cold? This bathroom is a prime example how a modern interior can appear very softly and very, very inviting. The homeowner is super happy. We just had a picture with super happy homeowner just taken for our records. And uh, frankly, the designers are delighted. <laughs> this is a big success.